Welcome back in ERB Sports fans. It is John. I'm back with another video on this Saturday. Well, I promised myself I wouldn't open any more Series 2, but happened by a Meyer last night. I know what these are. These are the Meyer Purples. Now, this is take two on this for uh, Tops because the first time they released these to the store, they didn't have any purple cards in them, so I think they had a recall on them. They pulled them all off the shelves. They sent them all back to the manufacturer. Probably just redistributed all the cards. So let's see what we can find. See if we can find a Julio short print. See if we can find a Spencer Strider or a uh, O'Neill Cruz. Hoping for an O'Neill Cruz or Spencer Strider in the purple. Looks like you get two per pack now instead of one, which is nice. Kind of back to the way it used to be. So we got 11 of these. Let's see what we can find. You never know. You never know. And hopefully these are all Series 2 guys. It'd be funny if we found like a Series 1 guy, uh, you know, like a Wander Franco. That'd be nice. But, oh, Josh Lowe right off the bat. Rookie card Josh Lowe. That's a decent one. Cards look really shiny. I like the way these look. Always do. I went a little crazy the other day on uh, the Topps website and called the MLB store over in New York City they had the uh, logo fractor cards, uh, the boxes, the mega boxes. I ended up ordering, I think, 12 of them total. Um, 12 or 14, I can't remember, but more than I should have. But uh, that means I just got to sell some stuff. Dylan Cease, is he a rookie? I think he was a rookie last year. All right, cool. We'll save the packs till the end. Save the suspense. Find out what's in these. We got Chris Paddock. And Dylan Cease, man, these cards look really nice, really clean, pretty centered, pretty uh, pretty tight on the cornering. Everything looks pretty solid. I'm so glad they came back with these. It was really a bummer when they didn't have these. And overall this year, really just disappointed that they didn't have the Walgreens yellows. Those would have been cool. Um, that was always a fun. Ryan Mountcastle, we got the Ryan Mountcastle Cup card in purple. It's decent. I didn't check the odds. I'm sure the odds in here are the exact same. We got a Curvin Castro rookie card. Second rookie we've got. Nice Mount Castle there. Man, that card looks sharp. These look really nice. I wonder if some of these, if you pull like an O'Neill Cruz, there's a good chance this might get a, a 9 or a 10. Um, these are normally tough to grade because they're kind of loose in the pack. But I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I have to think about sending some of those in. Tariq Scooball, he was having a decent year until he got Tommy John surgery or something. Jesus Aguilar, former Brewer, I think, right? Yeah, former Brewer. He was good for the Brewers for a while, and then he kind of went really cold in the playoffs and just didn't have it. Kind of look at his stats here. You know, he had like 35 and 108. And then followed it up with a very bad season at 8 34. And then the Brewers said the heck with him. So. Alright, we'll go to this one next. So that Josh Lowe rookie card so far, our best purple. Can we get an O'Neill Cruz? Can we get a Spencer Strider? Come on. That would be so cool. Not gonna lie. That would make this opening right there. All right, we got Miles Straw and Willie Calhoun. These guys are not rookies. Series 2 is a little bit tougher when it comes to the Meyer Purples, unless you have some really good rookies that kind of make up for it. The vets aren't quite as good. All the good vets are in Series 1, like your Mike Trouts, your, you know, Albert, well, Albert Pujols. He's obviously had a really renaissance-like year after some really dry years. I was, I was thinking of players, uh, Nolan Arenado... Um, Goldschmidt's in Series 2, though. Goldschmidt purple would be cool. Kendall Graveman and Brett Phillips. I I'm just going to skip sleeving all the purples till the end. I want to make this video. Well, let's take a look at the odds real quick. All right, so golds are 1 in 15 for these packs. Rainbow Foils 1 in 8. Blues 1 in 10. Mother's Day Hot Pink 1 in 591. Wow. Pretty, pretty tough. Base, short print, 1 in 44. So we have 11 packs. Are we going to get a short print? Probably not. 
I've seen some really bad collation on these. It seems like these are really the, kind of made near the end of series two and they don't have a lot of the good numbered cards. So they just kind of keep going back and forth. It's almost like they go home run challenge card, um, which would be really disappointing because you can only turn that in tomorrow. Um, in fact, they might even let you do it tomorrow. That'd be a bummer. Zach Gallen and Brandon Nimmo. All right, I'm gonna skip sleeping those up. Just build a pile there. Get all these packs out. But yeah, it just switches between like the 87 throwback and the home run challenge card, which is total crap because that's not how the collation should work. But it does for some reason. Looks like we got a team card maybe. Detroit Tigers and JP Crawford. Tigers, who's in the picture? Miggy, that's a cool one. I don't know what the value is on the purples. Look at the shade of purple is interesting. Some of them are really a deep purple and some are like a light purple. So, all right, can we pull a Spencer Strider or a O'Neill Cruz? Maybe, 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 maybe. We have like 22 purples. So we've got like, I don't know what, like a one in 10 chance probably. Not good. Justice Sheffield and Cal Quantrill. All right. This is the only Series 2 Meyer Purples I'm going to open. I don't expect a whole lot out of the packs. Just wanted to make a video on it. It was one of my kind of favorite things to open last year and earlier this year. And when I saw them, I thought, oh, man, they came back out with them. I got I to gotta try it, right? Why not? All right. So, rookie card. Henry Ramos. Eh, we'll sleep up the rookie. I don't know how old that guy is. Don't know a whole lot about Henry Ramos. Born in 92. Oh my god. That guy's old as dirt when it comes to major leaguers. It's like 28. Something like that. No, he's almost 30. That's crazy. Uh, Aaron Nola, decent vet, and Alex Verdugo on the... So that's it for the purples. Let's get into the packs, see what we can find. We'll flip them over. We'll, we'll try to give it some good mojo, good juju. All right, we're looking for short prints. We're looking for good rookies. All right, we'll go through this, fly through this space pretty quick. I don't think I've ever seen that Fenway, Fenway Fireworks card. Duel Herrera, it's a rookie card, Boston, KC, Manny Machado, Colton Wong. And, um, I, I'm all a little weary of, I don't think that's the short part. Colton Wong, Shohei on the, now everybody's sick of the uh, stars of the MLB. Man, I they they probably can't wait till next year to see something else. Last year they had all like those throwback inserts like 1952 redo and then they had the 65 redo. I think I'd rather see them bring those back than this crap. But oh, Seth Beer rookie card, another Boston Bashers. Wait, the other one was the Red Sox. That guy rookie no. JT Brubaker the Brewers. Is that a short print? I think that might be a Brian Reynolds short print. I think. I don't know why a Brian Reynolds short print would be in here, but I think that's a short print. Uh, let's see here. What's the regular code on the card? I put my contacts in, so my eyesight's a little bad this morning. These contacts. Uh, I think that's a short print. That's a Brian Reynolds short print. Hey, we got a short print. And it's not even a really good player. <laughs> I didn't even know Brian Reynolds was a short print. That's, uh, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Brian Reynolds short print. How about that? We can't say we didn't get one. We got one. Probably not the guy you're looking for. But we got one. It's just the image looked different. I don't know why they made a short print of Brian Reynolds, though. That is shocking to me. 
<laughs> Why they would even do that. It's not like the guy... I mean, maybe he made the All-Star game last year. Somebody has to from every... We've got a blue rookie card. Auto Lopez. That's a nice color match, but too bad it's Auto Lopez. That looks cool. we got no-hitter Verlander and stars of MLB Yordan. So these packs haven't been terrible. Got a short print. Got a blue. Greg Dykeman. A nice color match in the blue. Too bad it's Otto Lopez. If that'd be like a Beau Bichette or something. That'd be pretty nasty. That'd be nice. It looks cool. Maybe, maybe Otto Lopez has a bright future ahead of him. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't think so. All right, next pack in. Looking for a Julio short print. Man, that would have been so cool if we would have got a Julio short print, wouldn't it have been? Rowan Z. Contreras, Jonathan India, Andres Jimenez. He had one hell of a good season. Did he ever? Man, I think he led the league in, or led the uh, 2021 rookie class in war. Byron Buxton, not a short print. Adolis Garcia. That's yeah, just a base. That was just a base pack. Gavin Lux, Josh Bell, Benintendi, Kirk, and that was a crap pack. All right, we got seven packs to go. Let's see what else we can find. I got some other stuff to open on the channel. Got some more goodies coming. Got a lot of goodies coming from Walmart and Topps. The love hate relationship with Topps Chrome has everybody. All up in arms. I'm not going to buy any more Topps Chrome retail. I'm done with it. I'm going to stick to the hobby products if they come down in value with the silver packs now that they're saying they're going to give. And I'm going to stick with the light boxes and the logo fractor boxes. Another crap pack. Alrighty. So we could get a red in here, or is that a home run challenge card? Some kind of insert with some color. That could be good. Could be decent. Get lucky. Jesus Aguilar. Had that same collation. Trevino. Who's this? Tristan. This is backwards. Oh, it's numbered to 299. That's cool. This is, I think, Generation Now. And it's a red, I think. Red or black, that's cool. String Bean himself, numbered to 299. Didn't expect to see that, but as the cliche goes in the card industry, I'll take it. I'll take it. Nobody watched that video, by the way. Nobody watched that video. I don't know. I guess it wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. All righty. Urias. Fletcher. This has been a decent opening. We've got a numbered card, a short print, a blue. Can we get any other goodies? Just keep me away from the home field or home run uh, challenge cards. That's all I ask. Do not give me any of those because I cannot redeem them. And they would be totally a waste. Hank Aaron, that's a nice one. I don't think that's a short print. No. That's a cool Hank Aaron, though. I like that one. I think those are pretty common, but... Jose Siri. All right. Four packs to go. Can we get something crazy down here, down the stretch? Can we get something? It's Josh Lowe. Plawecki. Robson. Comber. The colors, Dunning, Aguilar. Collation's been so bad. We just keep getting the same cards over and over again. Dykeman, Jock Peterson, Jansen Junk, best name in Series 2. All right, three packs to go. Do a quick recap at the end. Look for more videos coming up. I'm going to have an NFL Picks video sometime either later today or early tomorrow morning. Hope to be back out on the golf course. I'll try to record some video footage out on the golf course. Give you guys some commentary of deep thoughts, kind of like Sports Card Radio does. What do we got? Alex Bregman. That Charlie Blackman's not a short burn, is it? 
No, it's just a base. Bregman, Max Muncy, Hoffman, Longoria, Gomber, Sosa, and McCullers. We don't have any O'Neill Cruz yet, and we don't have any Spencer Strider yet. Isn't that something? <laughs> Two packs to go. Let's see what we can find. It's got some stuff in it. Austin Warren, Matt Carpenter, Seattle Mariners, Ian Anderson. I doubt that's a short print. No. Cody Bellinger. I, th I thought he was in Series 1. I guess he's in Series 2. Oh, that's cool. Sweet Shades Shohei. That's a nice one to finish on. That's cool. Not numbered. Still looks cool. I like that one. I don't think I have that one. He's had a good year, but Aaron Judge probably had a better year. It's, you know, it's hard... You know, down the stretch, both these guys are just playing lights out. Really solid. Pretty special to watch, but got to give the MVP to one person. Probably going to give it to Aaron Judge for the home runs. All right, last pack mojo, guys. Got a rookie on the back. Got anything? We might have something in here decent, I hope. I hope it's not a generation now. That'd be a bummer. Those are just okay. Stassi. I got that card like five times. I think it's a generation now. Oh, we got an Ozzy LB short print. Two short prints in 11 packs. <laughs> it's cool. I didn't expect that. I guarantee that's a short print. That is not the regular image of Ozzy Albies. Um, that's a cool one. When they did the World Series Parade last year, that's cool. It's been a pretty good opening, honestly. It's a cool looking card. None of these are rookies. It's not like we pulled the J-Rod or anything, but Logan Webb. He looks old. Uh, JT Rio Muto, Corey Dickerson, Trevor Larnich, and Vlad, Vlad, whatever. All right, that was a pretty good opening. I'm not going to lie. This was worth probably the 40 bucks. A um, couple of inserts here. Uh, 387 All-Star Games, including like a Hank Aaron, which was cool. George Brett. Uh, one Chrome Lindor. A Colton Wong Rainbow Foil. Got a array of these Stars of MLB cards. Oh, I forgot about the Cody Bellinger. Get that one out of there. So these cards, we got purples, which obviously purples are the reason you get these, but we got an array of non-rookie purples. Some decent ones here. There's a rookie. There's a Mount Castle. We got a Kenta Maeda, Aaron Nola on the front. All right, well, let's see here. One numbered card. All right, so we'll go, we'll go that way. All right, so we got a Shohei Sweet Shades, Otto Lopez Blue. We got a Tristan McKenzie numbered to two ninety nine, one ninety nine out of two ninety nine. Generation now, I think that's a black. A Josh Lowe rookie card in the in the purple. A Brian Reynolds short print. I think I think it's just a regular short print. Need a magnifying glass on this. Should have worn my glasses. Uh, okay, so we got a Brian Reynolds. I think it's just regular short print. And an Ozzy Albee short print, of all things, to end it off uh, from the Atlanta Braves. So that'll do it, guys. That was a fun opening. I'm glad I bought those. I think that was worth the 40 bucks. Like I said, that's, this was fun. Um, I wish they were all like this. I really do. So anyway, guys, that'll do it for Meyer Purples and Series 2 for the season unless something crazy happens. This was fun. I'm glad this is how I'm ending it. If all things considered equal, what, what would I rather have? Four hanger boxes for around the same price or this? I would rather have this. This was way better, not gonna lie, than any of the hanger boxes I've opened, period. So with all that, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Look for more videos coming up. We got another eating contest coming up next weekend, pumpkin pie. 
I was in the paper over, I think, in Dayton, Ohio's uh, local paper. They had an article written up on the Major League Eating uh, event going on next weekend in uh, Jeffersonville, Ohio. So Ryan Card Collector 2, I know you're probably not going to be there, but that's kind of in your neck of the woods. So the mission's on you. Come to that eating contest and say hi. I'll see you at the Monster next weekend. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.